and welcome to the 200 megawatt strong podcast where we delve into the world of renewable energy and explore how solar power is reshaping the energy landscape in Sri Lanka. Now joining us today we have Mr. Hasat Prematilaka who is the managing director of Haley's Fentons and we also have with us Mr. Roshain Pereira who is the CEO and executive director of Haley's Solar. A warm welcome to the two of you. Thank you. In a nation that's hungry for sustainable power, one company dared to make a great vision a reality. Haley Solar, the number one, the largest, the most trusted solar provider in Sri Lanka, has recently achieved an incredible milestone that is of providing 200 megawatts of solar installations around the island. Hasid, if I could ask you this question, can you tell us a little bit about the journey leading up to this fantastic milestone? Let's go back to 1990. Mr. Herbert Fenton, a British chartered engineer who started Fenton's Limited as an electrical company. And then when he left uh, for UK after his retirement, it was handed over to the local management to run. And that local management ran it for so another half a century. And in 2016, so the company faced some financial difficulties. Then it was acquired by the largest conglomerate in Sri Lanka, that's Haley's PLC. After the consolidation, now we say Fentus Limited, rebranded as Haley's Fentus Limited, which has 105 years of legacy, and Haley's is having 145 years of legacy, joining together called a fusion of legacies of 250 years of experience. And we drive with a purpose of innovative and sustainable engineering services for a better life. So that's the journey so far. And Haley Solar is the new baby of Haley Sventers, which is about 10 years old. And we have achieved this significant milestone today. Wow, even though it's a baby, it has now reached a very, very noteworthy milestone. Let me ask you, Roshane, as CEO of Haley Solar, can you tell us a little bit about the journey of Haley Solar as well and what do you think about this fantastic achievement? Yeah, makes me really proud and uh, like to start by around 2014-15 when we started and now we have expanded into almost 100 plus engineers located island-wide and uh, we are grooming these engineers uh, with the knowledge, the technical know-how and uh, exposing them to the world's latest technologies. And along with that, we are expanding into our branch network also in Sri Lanka. Uh, we, are, we started from Mathara and now we have opened in uh, Jaffna, Nigambo and Kandy. And soon we'll be opening one in Kurunagal as well. Wow, that's certainly very impressive and it's nice to see how Haley Solar is positioning itself right at the forefront of the solar industry. Hasid, may I ask you, how is Haley Solar contributing to the broader goal of sustainability both locally and internationally? That's a very interesting question. I would like to say, photosynthesis keeps the life going on the earth. So this is photovoltaic. So free solar energy is used to generate the power. If you look at the total perspective, this saves the environment, uses the free solar energy, and reduces cutting of trees and use of fossil fuel and coal. And also, as a country, we can generate our own, own power and save much needed for it next year. And once the investment is done, you don't need to maintain it with a huge expense. After the first investment, for 20, 25 years, you get free energy. If I take you into a global perspective, Sri Lanka is far behind the global perspective. Globally, there are 1.6 million megawatts in store. And in Sri Lanka, we have only about 900 megawatts. At the same time, we are very proud to say that out of that, we have contributed to 200 megawatts to the country. That's really very impressive. I think Haley Solar is setting the standard for the solar energy industry here in the country. Now, to mark the 200 megawatts milestone, 
I do know that Haley Solar has organized CSR initiatives to commemorate this. Can you tell us a little bit about those CSR initiatives? Yes, so we were brainstorming on how best we can contribute or give back to the uh, country. And then uh, with the guidance of our chairman, Mr. Mohan Panditage, uh, we decided to donate 200 solar systems for the elders' homes, children's homes and disabled uh, children's homes. And this initiative we have started now and uh, we have short, we are in the process of shortlisting the applicants and we are hoping to uh, do the installation in the month of May and complete them. Okay, wow, that sounds absolutely incredible indeed. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Yes, so mainly the solar investment. When you talk of solar investment, you feel it's a very high, more expensive product, uh, which is not the case anymore, right? We have uh, tied up with many banks now to give you a flexible low interest loan scheme and uh, this uh, when you uh, calculate the saving you can get from the electricity bill after you put the solar system your monthly installment on the bank loan is very much less where you have some excess cash in your hand maybe to pay your, your other utility bills like the water bill and also you can be rest assured for the next 20 years your bills are zero Okay, that's interesting and it's, it's really nice to know that Haley Solar is trying to make this kind of service more accessible to a large segment of the population. So thank you for sharing that with us. Well, with that, that's all the time we have for our discussion today. Thank you both for joining us and sharing your expertise and your insights with our viewers. I hope you enjoyed this discussion and until our next episode, live a life full of light with Haley Solar.